Alright, we're headed out to class. Let me turn it off. Headed out to classes this morning. It's cold out here. It's raining. I would rather be hot than cold anytime. That's cold sucks. So everybody that lives in cold places, you have my sympathy. All my stuff in the basket, get in here and get this place opened up. So, I've got all my clothes in this basket here. Load stuff up like that. Every once in a while, you guys may hear me talk about the karate gym across the street. Uh, that's them. Karate isn't the best way to learn to defend yourself. And, I mean, if anything, has you've almost got to be blind and deaf and possibly have some psychological problems if you don't realize through everything that mixed martial arts has, has done and proven in the last 20 years that karate on its own does not teach you how to defend yourself it's making the presumption that the other person your opponent knows absolutely nothing and is relatively harmless. If you have someone that is relatively harmless, then really you don't have a problem. Problems occur whenever you have people that are harmful. Karate gives a false sense of uh, ability, and that's dangerous. Whenever you t uh, whenever you try to convince somebody that they can do something and they really can't do it, that's how you get people hurt. So, a realism in your training. Anyway, some of the. Uh, pictures from guys in their competitions. So that's Justin! That was uh, one of his uh, amateur title fights. He's uh, just turned, recently turned professionally. professional. That's Corey. He's got a match coming up at the end of this month. It's for a title. It's He's a current belt holder for a promotion. And uh, that's Micah. You guys will get to meet Micah in here a little bit later. This is Justin uh, Again, they're throwing on some leg locks and some things of that nature. Uh, here's some guys from uh, Naga. It's These tournaments are so freaking expensive. I think that day, entrance fee was like 50 bucks or so. What's up? There's Hey Hey. Say hi, Hey Hey. Uh, ah, you're looking all gangster, ain't you, dude? Oh, man, you're looking all crazy. Can you, can you show me your muscle? Because... That's a good idea of pulling that up so you don't rip it out. There's Josh. What's up, Josh? Uh oh, and there is Bradley. Me and Bradley's been friends since high school. Looking really good, hey, hey. Oh, if you can get to your hand, you're always going to be better. If you can, okay? Let's hit one more time. Let's, I'll tell you what, you just play it by ear. If he resists your Kimura too much, let's go ahead and do our hip heist. Okay, if he's resisting your hip heist, what do you go to next? <coughs> Kimura, hip heist, the point's number three. Speak three. Oh, yes, okay. Just kind of play it by ear. Josh got feed you. Hey, it's hungry. Not bad. Not bad. What are you doing? There you go. Get on your hand. On your hand. On your hand. Push your hips up on your hand. There you go. Come on, Paul. Hey, hey. Go, Timothy. Go. Timothy. Let's do a hip high. What's our cue? Let's, let's go ahead and start here. Let's go ahead and start with our hands on his head, controlling his posture. Okay? 
Uh, you can do it with your. Uh, you can also think about this as a butterfly. There. Isn't it, isn't it kind of cool with a butterfly? Yeah. Okay. Or a four game bow grip. How do you want to do it? Control it. Okay. Palms this forward works too. Uh, elbows in a little bit. All right. He's trying to pull away from you. Okay. Let's go slow. Do your hip highs. Hold on. Not bad. Oh, you're going core. I said hip highs. Start over. I, I, I knew you grab some. Like, Let's start with step, more? step. Yeah. Okay. First step. As he's trying to pull away, resist. Now, let him start to bring you up. Bring this hand off. Put this knee, and you will break your guard too. Let's go slow. As he pulls you up, you're gonna break guard, okay? Now point your knee in toward his body, okay? So your knee is gonna be turned this way on this side, okay? Now, here, here. Get up to your knee, or get to, to your elbow. Reach here. Now, don't hold his wrist. You're going to need your arm way out here behind you. Think about this. If he grabs your wrist and pushes forward, your hip height is gone. See? Yeah, can hip height there. Now, use this foot over here. That. Bring your hips up and to bring him over. Okay? Now, lift your hips. If you can get to your hand, you're going to be higher, okay? Let me show you why this works this way. Let's do an experiment, all right? Let's let her like let's let her out of our life like flop back. Okay. We got our imaginary guard going. Okay? Hold on to this person's head. Alright, we're gonna pick us up. This one leg breaks, it goes to the side. We start to come up here. Okay? This hand comes out. We lift our hip. Alright, now stop. How high is your hips? Get them as high as you can. Okay? Now you come up on your hand. Now lift your hips. See how much higher your hips go? The higher your hips go, the more you can lift him up and flip him, okay? So, whenever you go for this hip height, try to get to your hand. There's a couple of different ways and sometimes that you won't do that, but get used to it if you can because that's always going to be your number one thing. I set up, push the head to the side, I'm trying to get my guillotine. See how my hips are still underneath of you? Yeah. Okay? What happens is I'm trying to push my butt out, but you push back into it. Okay? There's no way on God's green earth that I'm going to get to my hand here. It just ain't going to happen. This is one of the times that uh, you can try to get this arm in guillotine. And this arm in guillotine done right, it's very effective. What I'm going to do is, you know, a regular guillotine. We're doing this, okay? I want you guys to think about this as a crunch. Let's do this really quick, okay? So lock your guard up. And lock your guard up here like this. Alright, let's crunch up as much as we can this way. That's where we're going to squeeze. We're going to bring our legs up and our body up, okay? It's very uncomfortable, isn't it? Hard to do that. Up, body up. Fortunate enough, you don't have to do it too much. You, know, you ain't got to put too much of a pressure on that one. But that, I want you guys to feel that because that's how the squeeze is with this. So here, here, he pushes into me. I'll lock my hands together. See where his head's at on the mat? Come on over here, guys. Notice his head is on the mat. I'm not going to do this. See how his head pops right out? And this is a trick why people didn't know that this, people didn't understand this choke for a long time. Is because people would push. That would happen. So what I'm doing is they're pushing. I'm pulling. See how my legs come up? Tight choke quick, isn't it? Okay. So let me go really, really slow here. His head, this hand is on this jawline. Okay. Right down the angle of this jaw. He pushes into me, which drives his shoulder forward. I reach around. Catch my hands this way, okay? From here. Now, see where his head's at here on the mat? You really need to try to get this guy's head on the mat. It makes it a whole lot easier if you can. So, instead of pulling, I'm gonna rock him forward. Notice how that puts his head deeper underneath my armpit. That's what you're looking for. Deep under the armpit, and now I'm gonna squeeze. Okay? This is an extremely good joke.
You stand up if you want. Well, I'm just saying, if you should want to stand up, you can. I'm staying. Oh, in case you're tall. I think it's crazy. Remember that sweet? The wrist is Oh, yeah. Yeah? Don't let somebody have uh, two on one on your wrist. Okay. Don't let somebody get to here on your wrist. Right. Yeah, so, right. whenever you grab my arms, you grab my arms. Yeah, right there. Pull on back. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Try to re grab yours. You're still up on your knees, which means I'm going to be able to slide onto you. Stay. That's one of those positions that you hope the guy didn't eat burritos the night before. <laughs> Alright, now you can finish that triangle from there. It's going to be a little bit harder because of the way that your legs are locked. I'll show you some tips for finishing that triangle real quick. Uh, here, try me. Alright. <laughs> Alright, it's hard to finish the inverted triangle like this. But what it is, I've got this triangle here, this is over. <laughs> like this. Okay? Now, if I can get underneath of his body, the deeper I can get under, the better chance I've got finishing it. So this hand dives under his body, okay? And ideally, do you see where the leg that's going over his head? You want your body to be on the opposite side of that, okay? So whenever you get to that triangle position, that inverted triangle, okay? If his body is on the other side of me, let's go ahead and switch the position, hop on over. Okay, this hand over here. Okay, see how this, I mean, little pressure, he can survive that. But if he steps over this way, yeah. totally different triangle, okay? Going out. Yeah. That's where that's that's the whole thing. The lower you can get and grab, black, squeeze the leg. Can you also like strain your leg out? Uh putting that push down on the head. Well, you're not one of the it ain't about pushing down on the head. It's about squeezing here and here together. Okay? If you push down, you can push down. You just want to make sure that I like to hide this other leg because that's that's one of the ways to get out. And if my leg, okay, see this leg over here dangling? If he grabs that leg, okay, he's starting to work his way out. So here, I like to tuck it over here. Now if he grabs my leg, it's really hard for him to get to it. As opposed to if I straighten my legs out, he can get to my legs a little bit easier. Okay, that's the key there. Yeah, you don't want, want him to have the heat. Yeah. You don't want him to, to have his legs out. Make sense. Good job, guys. Good job. So who's got Tanthea's side? Tanthea? You should pick one.
My tail, man. It We're is, talking about our leg workout. It, it literally put me in a state of shock when I was at the house. I was walking like this on the wall, trying to go to the bathroom. Had to hold up to pee like that. And I, was, I, was in bad, I was in bad shape. That workout kicked my tail. Josh, oh, Josh. If you... If, if you did, if you didn't, if you wasn't sore, you didn't do something right. <laughs> Somebody, I mean, if, if anybody wasn't sore from that workout, they didn't, they didn't do it right. <laughs> what about Hunter over there? Hey, I didn't get, I didn't come. Oh, that's right. So I guess Hunter gets to do legs today. Oh, yeah. 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 Like I'll make up for it. <laughs> so guys, this is what that looks like. I mean, it's not too bad. All right, not too bad. But just got the rolling, so I want to throw some of this on there. To uh, make, I'm very phobic about uh, about infections, so yeah, a little alcohol on there, don't kill anything that's there.